Hey friends, it's Paige Evans and I'm so excited to share this new layout with you today. This is for a collaboration with my friend Vicki Booten using her mixed media supplies. And at first I was a little bit intimidated, but after playing I got hooked and I can't wait to keep using mixed media on my layouts. So I'm going to show you the technique that I used to create the butterflies. This isn't the exact piece of paper that I did this technique on, but it's the same technique that I did use. So on an acrylic block, I am applying Vicki Booten's Art Crayons, just stripes of color on an acrylic block, and then I'm going to spray it with water and dab it onto this tag. This tag is part of a mini album that I will have a process video for later, but instead of doing it on a tag, I did it on a piece of white cardstock. So you smush it onto the paper and let the paint run around and every time you do this it's going to look a little bit different and lovely and it's such a beautiful look. You can kiss it to the paper as many times as you want. Here I went and added blues and greens to the bottom and then I used one of my butterfly background cut files from the Silhouette store and die cut all these butterflies. So doing this technique on a background paper would make a really pretty background, but once you cut shapes out of them, it just turns into something completely different. And I love how each butterfly is unique and has its own colors and patterns created from doing the art crayons on the stamped acrylic block. So I am layering the butterflies now, starting with the largest butterflies and then adding the smallest ones on top. And then I ran each set of butterflies through my sewing machine and bent up the wings. That's what I'm doing now, bending up the wings for lots and lots of dimension. Now I am using black acrylic paint to paint stripes on a smooth white cardstock background. Vicki Booten does have black paint and mine is coming in the mail, but I was impatient to get this layout started so I just grabbed some of my other black acrylic paint, but she does have black acrylic paint and I'm using her paint brushes that work like a dream and loosely painting black stripes across the background. Definitely not trying to make it perfect. I really love the artistic look, I guess you could call it, of just how my hand naturally paints these stripes. So then I'm coming in with some modeling paste and this is a hearts background cut file, also one of mine from the Silhouette store. And I'm mixing in some of Vicki Booten's paint, this really pretty minty blue into the modeling paste to give it some color. And then I'm going to use this palette knife and scrape it over the stencil, this custom stencil. And I decided I needed to trim the stencil down a little bit so that it wouldn't overlap and smush what I'd already done. So I just used some scissors to trim it out no worries, I can always die cut another background. That's the great thing about cut files is there's so many different uses. So yeah, use your cut files to create stencils for modeling paste. And I am just applying the hearts from the top right corner down to the bottom left corner. This just creates another layer of texture and interest in the background. And mixed media is all about just adding more layers and more layers and it scared me a little bit, but again, once I got into it, I really love how it turned out and the process. Vicki Booten also has watercolors. So on this plate, I have added some of my favorite colors, and now I am applying pink watercolors on top of the mint hearts and painting over them and splashing some pink splash dots all around, and I'll come in with some yellow watercolors and also splash that around and paint in some spots. This is just another layer going on in the background. Next layer, I'm going to create some glitter goodness using the Vicki Booten Matte Acrylic Gel and her super fine silver glitter. Again, I'm just mixing it all together to create silver, a silver layer. <laughs> and I'll use her paint brushes and dab it onto the background. At first I thought about doing circles, but then I just decided to add it haphazardly, randomly, but spaced evenly. <laughs> there is a method to the madness across the background and then just 
swipe it around and it just creates a really lovely, shiny, sparkly layer and it just catches the light and it's so pretty. Now I'm going to add the butterflies to the background. I love how they pop off the black and white stripes and all the other dimensions and layers going on. And I always like to do the bottom left to the top right swoosh, if you will. And these are thickers from the Vicki Booten All the Good Things collection. And the title is going to be Gal Pal. Jane is my little gal pal. And I love how these kind of just blend into the background. They don't stand out, but they are a fun and simple title. I'm using the Sharpie white pen to write my journaling ac across three of the black stripes here at the bottom right corner. And I love how it's just another element of design just is incorporated into the background. This is a Vicki Booten roller stamp, also from the All the Good Things collection. And I'm just going to add more layers, more little... Easter eggs or things that you find, more details in the open spots of the background. So I stamped an arrow and a few sentiments. This is black stays on ink. So that one at the top right says good stuff. And I also stamped a heart this, some loops. And now the final step is I'm going to come in and create even more texture using this Fiskars scalloped border punch and more smooth white cardstock. I'm going to punch two of these and trim it off into a thin strip using my handy dandy paper trimmer. I've had this paper trimmer for I swear like 20 years. Okay maybe not that long but at least 10 years. And going to put these in the white places, the white stripes or the unpainted areas I guess you could say. And I did need two strips of these, like I said, and then I came in with my sewing machine and stitched them in place to make sure they weren't going anywhere anytime soon. So this layout definitely has a Sue's Fish vibe. I love how she uses black and white and lots of pastel colors. So if you're a fan of Sue's Fish, you definitely should go check out her Instagram and YouTube and blog because she creates beautiful things. All right, I'm still playing with these scalloped border strips, getting the exact placement. Oh, so here I've finished stitching them in place with my brother sewing machine and had to reattach this butterfly because I didn't want to stitch over it. I just wanted to stitch only on the scalloped paper strips. Put it back in place. And then I'm going to ruffle up the scalloped borders just with my fingers to create more dimension and shadows, the all important things in scrapbooking, creating dimension. And that, my friends, is the finished layout. I hope you are inspired to give Vicki Booten's mixed media products a go. They are so fun and versatile and always create lovely things. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you again soon.